Welcome to the Say Us to God devotional podcast, Jonah and the Pagans, July 27th, by Tim Grissom. And therefore they called out to the Lord, O Lord, let us not perish for this man's life, and lay not on us innocent blood. For you, O Lord, have done as it pleased you. So they picked up Jonah and hurled him into the sea, and the sea ceased from its raging. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly, and they offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made vows. Jonah chapter 1, verses 14 through 16. God's ways are remarkable. He's always doing more than we think, and he often uses people and circumstances in ways that surprise us. Case in point, while chasing the runaway prophet Jonah, God intercepted some pagan sailors. The compassion of these men seems out of character. As men of the sea, they could no doubt be as rough and wild as the waves they battled. But they were not killers. They weren't ready to throw Jonah overboard, even when he asked them to. They believed there were gods that would punish them if they did such a thing. And God used this belief to save Jonah's life and to reveal his sovereignty to them. Who was God pursuing when he hurled a great wind upon the sea? Chapter 1, verse 4. Jonah, yes. And some pagan sailors. God is always doing more than we think. So here's your next yes to God. What other instances can you think of in the Bible where God used people or circumstances in surprising ways to accomplish his will?